It's the freaking weekend in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and you know what that means? It's time to show out. It's time to put on our best outfits as I present to you the best outfits in Animal Crossing New Horizons, many of which you can get instantly. Don't gotta hunt, don't gotta DIY, don't gotta do nothing. You can just go grab them because I'm gonna provide you with some super sweet outfits and then the codes to instantly get them. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite outfit you see in this video or if you got a better one, let me know your favorite ensemble in the comments. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video and are having fun with Animal Crossing. I'm gonna show you some downloaded outfits. I'm gonna show you some in-game outfits and I want you guys to vote on whether you like downloadable outfits with like patterns or designs or characters or if you like rocking just the tried and true OG outfits that the developers put in the game I think we'll start with a set of real balloon everywhere and we're talking cream of the crop Mario Pokemon breath of the wild 2 overwatch doom mummy spaceman and more it's gonna be a freaking fashion show at lunch right here in this video so I'm wearing my my Nakey Jakey outfit here, but we'll start with a Nintendo theme set and then I'll go to some in-game outfits that I've assembled from all over many islands and then back with some like TV shows, other video games. There's some really, really neat stuff. I don't know how much you guys have messed with this, but prepare your eyeballs because you're about to be amazed by how much Animal Crossing can provide when you open up that wardrobe. Welcome to my main room. It's raining a little outside, so I figured we'd stay. And plus, the lighting is better. It's evening, and I want these clothes to shine. Now, we're going to show you some downloaded outfits. Let's start off with Ash Ketchum. Nice and simple. Look at this. Boom. Rocking the Ash Ketchum look. Ready for Route 1. And to say bye, Mom, Pikachu, and the professor are calling. Now, if you don't know how to grab these outfits, look, I'm putting the image on screen. That's the code you're gonna need. And you're gonna access these via the kiosk in the back of the Able Sisters shop. It's super easy, you just approach, you then plug in the code, download to your custom design app, and you got all of it here. You can save them, and then you can wear them straight from that phone app. And then if you've got a magic wand, you can register them to the wand. It's super easy. The only caveat is you need a Nintendo Switch Online membership in order to download from that kiosk and to search for the different creations. So there's probably trials out there. Um, I, think, I think they had one recently, like a free seven day trial. Maybe you got with Animal Crossing New Horizons um, or it's pretty darn cheap. It's like the cheapest online uh, service plan that you get. It's like 20 bucks for the year. Anyhow, that's Ash Ketchum. I love this one. It's classic and simple, but it's a good one to rock. And again, those codes are gonna be on the screen as the outfits appear. Ash Ketchum, let's stick in the Pokemon theme for a little bit. How about this Charizard? Outfit. I like this a lot. Looking very red and wonderful. Number six. Because that's the Pokemon that he lines up as. Now, maybe it's not intimidating while I hold the Cherry Blossom wand and have my Bunny Buck Tooth, but bear with me. I got more for you. Uh, what, what are you jumping for? Oh, there must be something on the wall. Is there something on the wall? <gasps> it's my intercom. Okay, someone, someone's calling, but I ain't got time for that. It's outfit switching time. All right, let's move to the Breath of the Wild 2 section. This is Link's tunic from the BOTW2 trailer, and I am just salivating for more of that game. People thought we might get it in the recent direct, but it ended up being a mini direct, and I think that game is saved for the E3 summer show. Look at the detail on the back. Look at that cape. It's freaking fantastic. Gave him some nice matching gear on the bottoms, and I love this one. It's one of my absolute favorites. They did a phenomenal job recreating Link's look from that epic trailer. I want to get on this bike and get my body prepped for trekking all over Hyrule. All right, next up, we've got a little Wind Waker Ganon. I thought this was a nice twist. A lot of Zelda's, a lot of Link's, right? How many Wind Waker Ganons? And again, look at the attention to detail. The things that people can create are phenomenal. Phenomenal. With all these new awesome outfits, it makes me wish that I could put different outfits on different wands, but it don't work that way. All right, let's go to, um, how about Princess Peach? Classic, put that royal crown to good use. You could grab a tiara, but I got the royal crown and that is worthy of Peach's status, especially at the end of Odyssey. You know what she does there. I like this one a lot, it's simplistic. I really want a Rosalina Mario Kart 8 Deluxe outfit. Maybe it's a little goofy to wear, but that's my favorite character in MK8, so I really wanted to rock it. But Peach, looking good with the Cherry Blossom wand. All right, let's move to uh, my Bowser cap. This is just a stunner. It's not a full Bowser uh, suit, it's just the Bowser cap, which I think can be combined with other 
items from in the game. You gotta decide if you're gonna go full character cosplay conversion, or if you're just gonna rock something themed to the character. And I like that we have the options. People are creating a bunch of different stuff. I did pair it with black and red uh, to kind of match Bowser's theme, give him some zippers. I feel like Bowser would like that if he was a humanoid. And then that hat is just ridiculous looking. It reminds me of one of the Donald Duck hats from Disney. It's so awesome. All right, let's go to Diddy Kong. Reppin' one of my favorite Nintendo franchises. Look at that. Diddy's simple shirt. Wish we had a bongo drum. We don't, but we got the grass skirt and the bare feet to really honor that ape man as he works his way through the different jungles with big old donkey. All right, a simple one, but it's a nice one. Um, let's check out Game Boy. This one's kind of fun. It's just a Game Boy, but it's a really cool shirt and one I'm proud to rock, especially with the neon green shorts, very reminiscent of the Game Boy graphics back in the day. They brought Link's Awakening over. Will anything else from that era make it to this system? I do not know, but time will tell. Now time for some of those in-game only outfits. We're talking about things that are only found in the game, not adding any extra pieces. Although those pieces are pretty cool, as you saw, and I got more designs for you, but let's look at some in-game, what you can buy at the shop's outfits. My Spaceman NASA outfit fits perfect right here. This is the spot. It's just a congruent set, but I love the fact that the space boots, the space outfit, and the space helmet look so good. It's so fun to run around as a little astronaut. I just think it's awesome. Now, if you're wondering about how you wear the custom designs real fast, it's really easy. You just go in here, click wear, and it's on. Oh, I'm transformed. Well, you can't do anything when you're transformed, so you gotta make sure that you revert back to your OG outfit, and then you open up the custom design app. So once you download it from the Able Sisters kiosk, you open up the app, you wear it, and boom, it's really instantaneous. You don't have to have, like, blank product. You don't have to have customizable shirts. It just automatically gives it to you, which I think is wonderful. All right, back on track. Let's look at the mummy outfit, another congruent costume, but one I just really like. You can roll around as a freaking one-eyed mummy, and you get all that Egyptian gear from Gulliver. Pretty freaking sweet. I like this one a lot. It's spooky but it's right. All right, we've got the royalty outfit, which compiles the royal crown and the royal dress cape suit thing. I put some jester boots on because that felt fitting, but it's kind of a fun one. You're looking so darn regal. This crown sells for a lot, but I'm not giving it up. Next up, we've got my Lord of the Flies look. I love this mask. It doesn't seem like it belongs in Animal Crossing. It's honestly kind of scary, but I love it. You carry that axe around with this my, my, not my fishing rod, not my shovel, that's not intimidating, not the watering can, not the outdoorsy slingshot, not the star net, not the bamboo one, the axe. Look at this. Now we look like we're about to do not so good things to this little squirrel. Anyhow, let's check out a, another outfit. Next up on our list, I have what I like to call my casual and safe outfit. This one's pretty darn neat. It's perfect uh, to keep the germs from spread and i've got a nice cool green backpack flick provided that our kicks not flick flick is the bug dude kicks is my backpack boy and then i got the little hat that i think is cool i think it's supposed to be a nintendo hat it says ntdo it's got to be short for nintendo right and uh got this really cool i honestly don't know if this is supposed to be for girls or for guys but i like it so much the uh the long sweatshirt with the moon pendant and then i'm rocking the comfy bare toed shoes mm feeling real cozy and safe. Next up, we've got this Sultan of Power. I combined the Iron Man-esque power outfit with this Sultan hat and then this like virtual reality visor. It just feels like something straight out of Dubai. This dude is ready for action. He's got all the latest tech and he's ready to go and go straight to the top, taking his company skyward and uh, maybe even playing some VR along the way. Just a fun outfit that I made. You could go full Iron Man with the power suit or you could go full Aladdin with the Sultan hat uh, or you could go full future tech with the visor the hmd visor and the the flooring that looks like it's from tron i don't have it yet but there's this moving flooring so sweet if you have it call me next up we've got my hidden wizard outfit i love this fake nose mustache disguise it reminds me of gabe honestly but it's also just a fun one i paired it with like a santa hat and the wizard robes and the sandals because like you're a prominent wizard you don't want people to know it so you're just chilling on the beach hanging out having a good time making sure that you stay very very hidden but also cozy comfy just chilling don't need to be bugged by any dementors or anything like that. Nobody knows your name, nobody knows your face, but you do have a backpack in case you need to carry extra wands. And my last outfit for you that I made from within the game, my favorite is me. This is something I'd wear in real life. In fact, I pretty much have this sweatshirt right here. I think I have this exact sweatshirt. Let me let me grab it for you. It's right over here. Check out my backpack, though. I got the, the Easter Bunny Day backpack. 
I like it a lot. It's so colorful. I'm rocking some red pants, some cool basketball shoes. I wouldn't really wear the goofy glasses, but they're pretty fun. Anyhow, take a look at this. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this is the same jacket. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same hoodie that my character is wearing and I'm wearing, and we're basically one in the same mind melding from Animal Crossing to real life. It's a beautiful thing. Welcome to my bathroom. It's cozy, it's comfy, and you're allowed in. I got a seahorse chilling by the tub, and I thought this was the perfect place to change a few more times. I'm back on those downloadable outfits. You know what game I hope we can download shortly after its planned release date? The Last of Us 2, it just got delayed, and this hoodie, this Firefly hoodie, the perfect way to wrap Joel and Ellie until Druckmann and Naughty Dog figure out when that game is gonna come out. I'm expecting a lot of delays, which is a bummer. Thank goodness for Animal Crossing. Now, next up, we've got the wonderful 11 outfit from Stranger Things. This one, very girly, but that's okay. You want to rock the most powerful character in one of the most powerful Netflix TV shows. I like this simple dress a lot. You can go hide and eat some waffles. I don't think there's waffles in the game, but I do have a crazy wild pancake outfit. It's close to waffles, but not quite. This one's just weird. If you want to dress up like the Switch, say you couldn't get your hands on the Animal Crossing New Horizons Switch, look. It's the Animal Crossing New Horizons Switch in a hoodie. Plus a pancake hat. I just want to show you people can do wild things like syrupy pancakes for a hat. Pretty freaking cool, right? Both those are a lot of fun. All right, let's look at Doom. We got this Keiko Demon hat. And actually, there's an in-game hoodie that fits the hat perfectly. Look at that Keiko Demon. He's coming to bite you and carry you off, not to the land of balloons, but somewhere far more down. I am loving Doom Eternal. You know Doom Eternal and Animal Crossing are game date buddies. Isabel and Doom Guy hanging out a lot together, so that feels appropriate. The Jedi robes. A lot of good Star Wars stuff. If you want to rock around as Obi-Wan or Luke. Uh, I haven't seen a Vader outfit yet. That would be pretty sick. But for those of you that like Star Wars, this is a really good, simple robe. It's it's a riff on, I think, the wizard robes that I showed you earlier. Um, but it looks pretty freaking neat. And I love just being a little goofy kid Jedi. Very fun. Overwatch gets a really nice jacket. I know people have these in real life. They're really nice. I thought this was just a perfect aesthetic for the jacket. I've seen some clothes that are uh, reminiscent of what the characters wear. But I like this one because it just symbolizes and you know takes the whole game into account which i thought was pretty darn neat a few more here for you did we miss any doom jedi overwatch oh yeah we got two more totoro great miyazaki film i like spirit away best but totoro is very noticeable got those rain galoshes for that very emotional and awesome animated movie I love this this sweatshirt. I need one of these. I can't believe I don't have one. I really like the Miyazaki movies, but I don't really have any gear or anything like that. Did you know when I was younger, I asked my dad to paint my room like Spirit Away, and he was like, you won't like it forever. I still like it, but probably a good thing that we didn't paint my room. Anyways, the last one I want to show you is the child. Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are everything. I'm rocking a grape hat because I couldn't fit it in anywhere else, and I just got it. I think it's an awesome hat. There's no grapes in the game. Bummer. But you can at least rock the grape hat. And look, Baby Yoda in his little pod on my shirt. Hopefully season two is awesome when it returns and hopefully they do more with the child, aka baby Yoda, but no baby in you. All those designs, you can go grab them, put the code in, go to the kiosk of the Able Sisters. It's a very fun time. Let me know in the comments down below your favorite outfit that you saw today or let me know what your favorite outfit you have assembled is. You find something super cool online and download it, share it and let us know. You find something really rare and awesome at Able Sisters or at the Nook Station or somewhere else in game, let us know. I'm gonna keep hunting for more outfits. Maybe we'll do another one of these a while down the road. But right now, those are my favorite, the best outfits you can get. Some you gotta hunt for, like the mummy and the space suit, and some you can grab instantly with those codes. A pretty cool way to expand your wardrobe and I think there's some other ways as well, but I'll tell you about those in a little bit. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you're in a fantastic day. Staying safe, staying healthy out there. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and are liking Animal Crossing. Feel free to join our Discord, Switch Strong. It's a positive, happy, fun place to interact with other Switch gamers and other Switch Force fans about Animal Crossing. Make some trades, swap goods, check out islands, and also just hang out uh, if you need a pick-me-up and want to, you know, hang out with some cool people. So join that if you'd like. Until next time, everybody, I'll be back with another Animal Crossing video soon. Thanks so much for everything and all your support. I love you a lot. Until next time, stay safe, wash your hands, switch force, out.